Like I've been at my desk for several hours now and I'm, I am I decided to start recording and she gets in the position just, just right there. It's like she knows there's something about it. What do you know? I'll never figure her out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus and it's time to get back into Dress Rosa, baby. The chaos of it that it is. We now have sort of an end goal, uh, an end game. Oh, now you're standing right next to me, huh? We have sort of the next, I guess, sort of uh, act in Dress Rosa, have you? Dovomingo has sort of rearranged everything and now we have this big shiny end goal castle to get to where he is in it just waiting we're gonna hop right in see what's new if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a sub and let's get started i still don't understand why he took the the smile factory and put it on the surface like so exposed man there's a lot of establishing shots i just want to know luvi's reaction to sabo having the devil for a man yeah, somebody keep Usopp protected, man. That's a fat bounty on his uh, on his head. He's like, yeah, what's all this? And what's Kaido to do? Mm. <laughs> Does Law know that Luffy already upset Big Mom? Like, it's it's already kind of disastrous. I'm not gonna lie. And his crew is already paying the price somewhere else. <laughs> He said, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Law knows who he's working with, man. Better get used to it. Why doesn't everybody just rise up and try to go to the castle together like an army? I, I guess because some of them are like killing each other because of Doflamingo, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Focus on straw and law? Bro, how do you say that right now? Oh my gosh. Like, don't like literally having people kill each other. Did they lose the key? We fell? She saw where it went? I guess she has like, like, vision. Dude, thank goodness for Viola. What? What? <sighs> this is so classic. I mean, yeah, I mean, no, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, at least he has that much, that, that, that much foresight. They are forced to work. Dude, Chin Zhao was released, baby. And Cavendish. He's still looking for Luffy. I actually don't know why anymore. <laughs> He's like, bro. Oh, that was the guy that Bart like trolled, right? True, yes. The pursuer. Yeah, yeah, he can. Yes, man. I mean, I feel like Fujitora should have already said, let's go for Doflamingo. Like, he's a higher priority, even if Law and Luffy are pirates. Oh, back underground. Hmm? Oh. Back. I guess, like, she's part of the Revolutionary Army, so it'd be about, like, findings and stuff, like weapons and whatnot. Kingdom of Big Scots has been disguised as a pirate ship. It's so crazy knowing like who this is though. How far she's come. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, like right now. Wait, it's gonna show she's a fighter too. Fishman karate, bro. Oh, it's like a webbed hand, yeah. Hell yeah. She never forgot what they did for her. Taking care of business, Koala. Like, there's no way that uh, that Fujitora sees this. He's like, yep, Law and, and Luffy. Oh, absolutely not. I don't know his thought process. It's going to be justice above all, but like, at what point do you have to like focus a new priority? What? Yeah, but because of who? I mean, kind of, yes? I just don't... I don't get it, man. I don't know. I try not to quote it because I, I can tell that he's like a decent person. And it's one of those where it's kind of like, I feel like kind of like Garp in a way where his sense of justice is conflicting with like the current situation. 
No, that's what I think. Oh, oh yeah, it's all C prism. That's right. Yeah. So there's no other way in without the keys. Uh, maybe, but his branded glasses. Okay, that's just extra, man. <laughs> Is that Pika like in regular form? Damn. Dude, Pika's a unit. I can't even tell if like the, the spikes on his shoulders are part of his skin or not. Yeah, Diamante and Trouble both failed in their own regard. There's the G. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Doflamingo hasn't gotten as far as he has in life thinking about the past. He always just adapts. The Navy apparently isn't that much of an obstacle right now. Mm -hmm. It's all about what happens after Dress Rosa. Mm hmm Because he knows what Fujitora's plan is later on with the whole warlord system. I mean, he's already seen how powerful Fujitora is dropping meteors from the sky. To <laughs> the leaves! <laughs> All the women on Senor Pink, bro. That pervert. <laughs> bro, <laughs> says you. I like how Senor Pink... Yeah, he respects Frankie. I feel like it's like this is even setting up for a rematch between the two of them. Hard boiled. Oh, uh, speaking of the devil, Frankie's a man on a goddamn mission, bro. He's just headed right for the factory. Law would be so proud. Frankie, despite everything, has stayed on goal this entire time. He's like, factory, I'm going to go try to destroy it right now. Huh? Is that Luffy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! Bro. Oh my gosh. Law's like, bro, I can't even move right now. Oh, they're actually landing there. Straw hat Luffy. Yeah, Zoro still looks drippy as hell in the black suit. <laughs> Hey, Law is really mad. I understand though why. Like, I, I understand his his thought process behind the whole like plan with like trying to get Kaido to go after Doflamingo. But Luffy's uh, Luffy's heart is too uh, about like saving Dressrosa now and the people in it. <laughs> don't underestimate. Don't underestimate any of the family, honestly. Oh my gosh, Senor Pink. He's a menace when he actually tries. Like, actually cares to try. Bro, the wombo combo. I mean, Luffy would be fine. Law would be crushed. Damn. Dude, Dallinger is creepy, man. Oh. Did, Zoro oh! Did Zoro just kick him? He like broke hit Dallinger's foot and then rolled the uh, freaking Machise. What is it Machise say? It's kind of confusing because I know they're talking about like dress rosa bounties, but not like actual like government bounties or navy bounties. Oh no, brother. He who shoots oft at last shall not hit the mark. What does that mean? Oft at last? Like, where is Fujitora gonna take them if he captures them? Like, they're in the birdcage. There is one unifying opponent here. One that wants like everybody here dead virtually. Damn, he's a unit though. Holy. Oh, I bet I bet Zoro's finna fight him though. That would go crazy. That's why I'm glad it's sort of set up already. That they know how powerful he is. They just didn't know who he was. Like with, with the whole bar scene or the whole casino scene. 683! He's so cool, man. How do they make every admiral so cool? I mean, Akainu, as terrible as he is, he's cool. Probably my least favorite out of all of them, though, in terms of design and personality. Fujitora has shot up to the top very quickly. But I think Kizaru is still my favorite. I mean, like, Aokiji kind of isn't even an admiral anymore. Oh my gosh, Luffy's finna fight him. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I actually have no idea how this would go. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot! Bing, 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 bing. Oh, you can't do that! Oh my gosh, bro. He clashes with an admiral and we cut away. 
Yeah, I'm surprised the family is all just vibing up here. Well, most of them. Yeah, that's good news to Doflamingo that they're clashing. <laughs> Whose voice is that? There's no way. There is no way that's Pika's actual voice. No. No, bro. They're trolling so hard. There is no way. Oh! Why does Pika sound like that? I have to hear it again. It just sounds wrong. We're just moving past it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Look at the way he stands there too. Oh my gosh. Dude, I do not blame the. Bro, like everybody got offended on Pika's behalf. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. What? Is she firing at the soldier? Oh my gosh, they're killing him for laughing. Oh my gosh. The poor guy, man. Oh. <laughs> so stupid it's so dumb i don't know how i can take him seriously he was so intimidating before everybody's scared to laugh i can't baby <laughs> fine oh uh oh yes why oh and killed my father when i was 10 dang bro why is that guy got a bag on his face Mm. So when you make fun of one of them, yeah, bro. Oh my gosh, we got a little drip of uh, Doflamingo lore though. Mother died when he was eight, killed his dad when he was ten. Why? Still so much mystery with him and Law too, like their relationship. Like he literally had the heart seat open for Law. I can't imagine how unstoppable he'd be with Law and his forces too. Chasing after a star. Oh my gosh. It's going to his head. Climb? Oh my gosh. It's gonna take forever. All right, hack. at a boy. I feel like that's what a lot of this is gonna be, like getting up there, is like one person standing around taking people on. I love how his arm is so injured from Bart. God dang, dude. Fishman Karate just go crazy. Even with one arm. I'm surprised Rebecca isn't like beelining it trying to find uh like Riku and, and Kiros. <laughs> He's like, can you say that again? Like records it. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. She thanked me! He's actually on fire! <laughs> oh, we've met so many good characters here, man. Okay, thank you. Finally, we're back, bro. That goes crazy. Oh my gosh. It's the fact that he's a swordsman too. And he's blind. Oh man, let's go. Come on, Zoro. We have no role to play here. Wasn't Senor like chasing after Luffy? Oh, he's looking. He's looking for Frankie, bro. I swear Frankie has, is like changing him. He's so intrigued by him. Frankie's the only one attacking the damn factory anymore. My gosh. Like I said, Law would be so proud. He's the only one on, on, on task. Yeah, how do you climb that? Couldn't Robin make like a hand ladder? Ah, yeah. What do I say? If it's a literal ladder, I swear I didn't pre-watch. Oh, thank goodness, it's a net. Like, dude, the application is there. I mean, it's kind of a ladder. Damn! I was thinking like a two-prong, like, single ladder. She went crazy. Their, like, rounds of applause are so cute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, dude, that hand net is crazy. Dang, bro, the wall hacks are crazy. Yeah, why does it like seem like a bad thing? Uh oh. 
Okay, these are just low tier criminals. Oh, oh shoot. Oh shoot, who is that? Should, should I know? Tank, oh wait, from like the army. Oh damn. Hell yeah. That's Captain Tank. Dude, I just realized like Tank's arm reminded me what happened to Burgess? Like did he just dip going back to Blackbeard? I, I want to think that like Burgess was just here on vacation. Come on, Kiros! Oh, yeah. I want him to reunite with Rebecca so bad. Oh, back to... Oh! Oh, dude, I forgot Kinemon was still looking for a... Dude, I... Conjuro! I remember this time, Conjuro. All these people that turned back into humans down here. She's like, nah, bro, we were all toys. Oh! What? What the hell? Was it because he said Conjuro? I'm so confused. Dude, that looks crazy cool. What the? Is it Pika? Like moving stuff? Just causing more chaos? Hey, what would be the point of that though? It's definitely Pika. Nothing else could be doing this. There's some reasoning though. Oh, Zoro used, Zoro used him like turning to, to get back. Oh my mama. Oh my mama. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. It is Pika. Yeah, okay. I was like, it could be anything else. Dude, terrifying. Oh my gosh. How are they going to CG this in live action? Good luck. Is he going to like fight? It's all over. Like, you can't defeat Pika. I don't think. Like, what? what are you supposed to do? Dude. Oh my God. That's sick, bro. That is crazy. There's like a part of me that wishes they had waited until like this moment to reveal Pika. Like kept the card hidden. But I guess it would have been hard to get Luffy and them back down here and like had all that happen without him. Because this is crazy. <laughs> Zoro's like, I know who he is. Even the family's kind of scared of him. Like, what do you, how do you fight against that? <laughs> I can't, man. <laughs> Poor Pika, bro. <laughs> Never mind. I see now why it already revealed. Well, kind of already revealed. Bro, it's not like you're going to offend him. Like, they're already trying to kill you. He's already after you, man. Why not laugh at him? Bro, his feelings are like hurt. It's gonna be like Magetta from Dragon Ball. Like he's like offended and that's like his weakness. He's sensitive about his voice. Oh, he's gonna like enter him into a rage. Oh, I see now why they were, they were telling him to shut up. He's just gonna destroy everything. <laughs> Swiss, bro. It's never not gonna be funny. It's the little things like that in One Piece, bro. Like did not have to make Pika's voice very high pitched. Oh, mama. Bro, that looks sick, though. It's like a part of the town. Dude, I want to see Fujitora fight Pika. Like, drag Pika down. Oh, that would be gas. Poor Law is still cuffed. <laughs> Even Zoro, dude. And Zoro's always the one that can take things very seriously. Oh my goodness gracious. It's like a meteor hurtling towards Earth. It's like a Fujitora. Oh. Leave Law behind. Dude. Dude. They're actually gonna get crushed. Luffy will be fine, but I don't know about Law. Oh. What? How's Zoro getting drunk into the air? Where are the physics? Like I said, Luffy's probably fine. Law, on the other hand, I don't know. Wait, wait, I see where this is going. This is going to crush Law's handcuffs, I think. That's what I always wondered though, is the logistics of stuff like that. Like if Pika, as gigantic as he is, comes into contact with these tiny little handcuffs that are on Law that are C Prism Stone, like does it need the equivalent in terms of, of C Prism Stone, like with the, the user or the size? Because like, Technically, it should sort of like uh, nullify Pika in a sort of way. Dude, that is the best.
best bit ever though, man. My goodness gracious. I like Luffy facing off against Fujitora too. I kind of understand Fujitora, but like not at the same time, which is a good thing probably. I think as this situation develops and everything sort of unfolds more and more and more, we're gonna see his, his like mind and where it goes. Because like at this point, you're fighting on the side of someone who's like crushing civilians and stuff and just destroying everything. But he still has this sort of this justice, like this way of doing things by the book, despite the current situation and that's how the navy's always been a large majority of it so he is just following sort of that order of things but again i see more humanity in him similar to aokiji as opposed to like if kizaru was here he wouldn't care what doflamingo's doing i don't think akainu same i don't think uh, i mean akainu definitely not akainu would be like yes I want Luffy and Law's heads on stakes. He wouldn't give a damn about Doflamingo. He wouldn't like Doflamingo because he's a pirate at the end of the day, but he wouldn't like Luffy and Law even more because they're not a part of the system that he basically runs at this point being Fleet Admiral, at least runs the section of. But guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like on this one. It helps me out quite a bit. And I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.